home or taking pictures to impress people on social media instead of actually jumping in the ocean or actually having a good time. So I hope for the people that do that for a living, they're actually partaking in life while they're in these place, beautiful places taking pictures. But I definitely would not do something like she's doing here um, with trying to convince the world I'm fabulous and nothing is wrong in my life. I don't see a point to it. Everybody's flawed. Everybody knows that. So it's yeah. okay to let your hair down, you know. What about on the show now that they're filming again and picking back up cameras? Like, do you think Kyle's, I mean, she will do anything for like, she is not with Kim. They had a falling out. I mean, they're fine now. Kathy, like, is there any part of Kyle that is maybe like happy they're picking back up cameras? Like she's oh, pretty God, com- Yes. Oh, trust. <laughs> Best believe <laughs> that she's like, oh, me? Yay. No. She lives for it. Good for her. You know, the walk the path, girl. I, I wouldn't want that one. That's that's a lot. And we we know how producers are on reality shows and and in TV. And, you know, they're there to make their money. They don't care. And I get it. It's the business. Um, she's wired a lot like them. She could have gone into production and been a producer because she, you know, she would have no problem throwing people under the bus. <laughs> at all so um yeah no i think she'd be thrilled that they're picking up the cameras good for her make your money so even though this is like such a traumatic thing and it's real you think the fact that they're picking cameras back up extending the season and she's just gonna throw it all out there on everything she's happy yeah <laughs> um up until this point she's lived her life for the show I mean, nobody knew who she was before the show. They knew her sister. They knew who Kathy Hilton was. She was the rich one, the one that had it all. And we knew Kim because Kim was a talented one. She was the actress that was in everything in the late 80s and or late 70s and early 80s. So people knew who she was. And then there's Kyle. Nobody knew who Kyle was. She didn't, she wasn't doing anything. So no, this is her life. Go for it. You know, I just had never seen it before when I was on the the show. It was season one. I'd never seen the show. I didn't know who these women were. Kim was the only one I knew who she was. Um, I had seen Lisa when she um, sort of helped us at the restaurant when I was there for my birthday one year with um, Slash and his wife, Perla. And, uh, she came over with her dog and talked to us for a while, but I only met her that one time. So I didn't really know these people didn't really care. I mean, and if they're going to extend the season and kind of like re-edit it, I think the next season will maybe now turn into something that's all about Kyle, which to your point, that, that will make her uncomfortable though, too. But I think she steers the narrative and that's just my feeling. I think she steers the narrative on the show. She was the one I believe that pitched the idea of doing a Beverly Hills takeoff of the housewives franchise, which would mean she would own, probably have negotiated some points. And so if you own points, it's your, you want to make it successful because you get paid in perpetuity forever. And so I, I think having it turned on her and her made to look a victim She'd be okay with that. That would fit into this character she created. Um, I don't think they'll show her in a bad light because I think she runs the show. I think she decides who who stays and who goes. Yeah. Well, as we wrap up, it's two more questions. Um, but that is what she's been accused of by people on that people say it even in a positive way on the show. They've said if it wasn't for Kyle we wouldn't be able to like narrate this. Like they say that she is literally sitting there and a producer and I could see yeah. it watching it, whether it's good or bad. She knows how to draw stuff out of each person. She is like one who keeps the show going and kind of produces wow. it without being a producer. She's been accused of that, not even in a negative way by a lot of the women. They're like, this bus wouldn't be able to be driven if Kyle wasn't in the scene because she knows how to get the sound bites and move the story along. So I think you're right. Mm -hmm. I think it's why she and Andy are such good friends. They're cut from the same cloth. 
Well, this is what I wanted to say. Well, first of all, are you like totally traumatized that I made you sit here for almost now an hour and a half to talk about all this again? So I appreciate that because I know- Actually, it was just, you know- we're, we're friends. So okay. it's, it's nice to talk to you. Sometimes okay. I forget that we're on camera. I'm just talking to you. So no, it's fine. I don't want you to say like, man, David, like, give me a freaking break. <laughs> but this is what I want to run by you because, you know, we have 13 seasons later. So I just want to say, I would like, you know, girls trip, you know, they're doing a neat, they're doing a New York girls trip. Now it's just New York girls. So yeah. this is, this is what I would like. And my wish for you, Allison, I would like after girls trip, New York appears. And if it's a success, I would like a Beverly Hills girls trip with nobody that you've already had a dinner party with hell from. I would like, <laughs> these are the people that I would like to be involved. I would like Lisa Rinna, Brandy Glanville, Erica Jane, Dorit Kemsley, Denise Richards, and Sutton Strack. I would like those six because you were at a dinner party with six. I would like those six. Lisa Rinna, Brandy Glanville, Erica Jane, Dorit Kemsley, Denise Richards, and Sutton Strack. I would like them. And I would like you to be brought in <laughs> with your e-cigarette and i would like you to have another dinner party from hell with oh these oh my people. god oh don't wish that on me i thought we were friends oh my god i am sorry and i know you'd be off the clock but i would love for this group to demand that you 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 feel the reading and i would love for you to sit there and just feel something for rinna and grandy and erica and just give them your opinions on what hell you no david hell no, <laughs> not happening. They offered me the ultimate girls trip to be on that show for all the people that think I'm just trying to get 15 minutes out there. And I turned it down. So which girls trip did they offer you? This the Morocco, upcoming, the one that's coming up with Camille. Yeah. So, and I'm glad, I'm glad I turned it down. I just don't want to be in that world, it's not my world. It's like l visiting another planet to me. You know, I will say some of the women that you named, I wouldn't mind sitting there and having a cocktail with them and just, you know, shooting the shit, but <laughs> no interest in reading them. When I'm doing my readings, I stick to being, doing it for my clients and I leave it at that. I had no intention of reading anybody the night that I was there. I told them I wasn't going to read anybody. Camille reiterated that I wasn't there for that. And they continued to bombard me with demands and gang up. It was very uncomfortable. I don't feel bad for what I said. It's what I saw. And um, I hope, you know, she always lands on her feet. I'm sure she will. So I just don't care. And if you went on that girl's trip, you would have been there with Camille. I mean, that alone would have been worth, that would have, people would have been interested to watch that. Wouldn't it? <laughs> I mean, you have nothing to lose if you don't care. So I'm sure you would have something to say to Camille. Sure. Huh? I'd probably sit down and have a drink with her. Here, here's the thing. Camille, at the time, 